joined now by a very special guest, Jesse Sanders, former Liberty Flames basketball standout, Big South and LU all-time assist leader. Uh, Jesse, thanks for taking a few moments here for us. Now, you're in your, what, fourth season of playing professional basketball now. Uh, how's it going? Really enjoying it. Uh, it's a blessing to still be able to play. Uh, great to be able to come back, you know, reconnect with the roots, connect with, you know, family, friends, uh, old teammates. Um, so blessed to be able, still be able to play and chase that dream. Now, aside from basketball, you got a lot going on personally as well. you got a wife, you got a daughter now. Tell us how life's going. Really good. Uh, Courtney and I were married soon after graduation. Um, went married eight days later. We were living in Italy. So <laughs> have been in Italy, Australia, Belgium, and now this fourth year, Germany. And then in Belgium four months ago, uh, Ava Michelle uh, Sanders was born. So life has been changing rapidly but it's been a great addition to the family very exciting um, and we've loved introducing her to the family back home friends here in Lynchburg and it's I'm learning every day <laughs> yeah no we talked about this a little bit the other day sleep cycles pretty much go out the window once you have a daughter uh, how how tough has it been to adjust with that and also playing basketball and trying to keep your career going no definitely man it, it, it's been an adjustment but it's it, it's it's a great one. You know, it, I wake up every morning and I see her, you know, smiling, wiggling, looking up at me. And, you know, even if you're a little tired, a little routine is thrown off, you know, the, that stuff's so secondary behind, you know, the love and, um, you know, just all those emotions towards her. So learning curve process, but my wife is incredible. Uh, she, you know, does a phenomenal job with Ava and still, you know, enables me to go to the gym, get the time in, mm -hmm. prepare the way I need to uh, for, for this season. Now, I remember when you were here, I kind of saw you take a step forward as a more complete player. I think probably your junior year, you, you really started to score the basketball and just take on more of that leadership role. You feel like that you were kind of able to do that a little bit more last year, your third year, uh, playing professional basketball, or was it tough going from team to team? No, definitely. I think it's been, you know, in college, first year came in, first year here in McKay, I was trying to keep my head above water. You know, I came in and figuring out what college basketball is like and thankfully had a good opportunity, started, played a lot of minutes, so gained some experience. Year two, new system, new coach, so you're kind of mm -hmm. figuring out there. And third year really started to thrive some. And so I think it's been a similar process in the pro ranks because it's, you know, a higher level, bigger bodies, better players, figuring out, you know, what coach is like, differences in the, in the style of play. Um, and this year, it, it seemed like, you know, things came together a lot easier for me, um, kind of game slowing down. I felt like I played uh, probably the best ball that I have since since being out of college. Now, Germany, this is a big opportunity for you. Uh, the competition level goes up a little bit as well. Uh, how excited are you for this? And really, re really excited. This is a, a league that my agent's been, you know, chirping in my ear about all four years. You know, man, I think we can get you to the BBL. You know, we, we, I, think, I think the league will do great. I've had other guys, you know, like you that, you know, get them there and it, they have a you know great career there or it springboards them into another even better opportunity. So this has been something that's kind of been in the back of my mind, a target. Um, and it's, you know, anytime a goal is, is, is attained, it's there's satisfaction in that. So it, it's nice to see, one, the Lord blessing it, and two, the hard work paying off. So I'm very thankful for that. You know, every time you come back here to campus, i got to imagine that things have changed a ton from the time that you were <laughs> here before. Uh, are you able to find your way around here still? I mean, Gosh, <laughs> you get lost kind of, times? man. Yeah, it's it's entirely different. I actually went up to try to go find the coaches in the office, and it's complete renovations in there. <laughs> They're out of there, like locker room, offices. La Haye's entirely different. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's incredible to see just in the two or three years since I was here permanently, and even just from being here last summer, it's just – Gosh, stuff's changing all the time. It's going to be a very exciting time to be a student athlete here. Do you enjoy coming and working out at the gym? Does it bring back some, some memories oh, for you? Definitely, man. And, you know, getting to hash it out with the old you – know, a lot of the coaches that are here now were guys that were here yeah, early on. Yeah. My freshman year, same similar staff. And then Omar Mance actually recruited me to Rice University before he was at Liberty and when I was wow. still in high school. So we've had a 10-year relationship with the Mances. Uh, kicking old stories around with them, meeting the new players, you know, Joel, John Caleb, some of these guys that are still here in the area, you know, hashing stuff up with you uh, <laughs> yesterday. You know, it's always good to be back here on campus and kind of relive some of those good memories. Yeah, we definitely had a lot of those from the road trip. Sure. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. But you mentioned it with some of the coaches being back here that were here when you were a freshman, Richie McKay now back on campus, Kyle Getter, Brad Susie, those guys. Uh, you know, how excited are you for the for the future of Liberty basketball with those guys here? Oh, okay. God, it's it's. I don't want to speak too soon because I don't want to you know set this ceiling up here for these guys <laughs> and put the pressure on. But I, I I think it's an incredible move by the school. I think having Coach McKay back, nothing but great things ahead. You know, he's a 
phenomenal leader, coach, man. Uh, he's inspirational. Uh, one of the, the biggest factors in what originally draw, drew me to Liberty University. So to see it come full circle, have him back, you know, it may take, I, I, I don't know the time frame. I'm still a ball player myself. Can't comment to the coaching, you know, how, how, how he's going to handle all that. But the program's going to be heading in the right direction. Um, I've been working out with the guys a lot. Um, there's two or three guys that really, you know, high motor, high energy mm -hmm. guys that I think are really going to take this thing in the right direction. So I'm being very impressed with one, the coaching staff, and then two, some of the guys they have uh, on board now and some of the guys that are coming in shortly. So you've been able to reconnect with uh, with Richie and some of the, the other coaches. Definitely. Then. How exciting has that been? Really good. You know, it's a busy time for them. You know, this is July, so they're, you know, on their grind recruiting in and out. So I'm, you know, trying to catch them. Okay, Monday morning, we'll catch right. an early breakfast. <laughs> or, you know, I talked to him with Coach McKay on the phone yesterday. Um, you know, I'm only here for a short time, and they got a lot of stuff on their plate. So, I try to get in that office as much as I can, you know, mm -hmm. hop in workouts, and they've been great. This coach from K said, you know, open door policy, Jess. I want you working out with the guys, breathing life into them, being a part of our program. And so it's really, you know, it's valuable for me to come back, and instead of feeling like, you know, hey, can I do this, you know, kind yeah, of tiptoeing yeah. around, it's, you know, I'm welcome back and I'm embraced. And, you know, that's really, I think you're building a, a really strong culture when your guys that are going out and are still playing ball are welcome to come back because then I think it can raise the level of, the guys that are here. Yeah, so. absolutely. You know that the guys here are excited to, to hear from a guy like you that, you know, has had a lot of success here and is now playing professionally as well. Yeah, so it did great for me. Hopefully it can be a good thing for them as well, um, you know, getting to work out. I've been going with, with – uh, working out with John Dawson almost every day. A couple mm -hmm. of the other guys hop in. Um, strength coach Henry has been giving me – so been Crazy out. workouts, man. He, he this yeah, guy. He's new now. Give us an idea. Gosh, what, what, man. He's you know, what kind of what kind of guy is Henry? Wow, incredible. I mean, he, he's training training. He's been at, at Nike for a number of years. Coached. You know, he was a high school coach. He's worked with you know top level professional athletes. Mm -hmm. His training regimen's very unique. I have stuff that I've never seen before. He put me in the, through a pool workout yesterday. That I said pool recovery. Yeah, yeah. Okay, of course I'll <laughs> hop in the pool do some recovery. Wow. This dude, he, he, he's top flight. So he's he's hands on with those guys, mm -hmm. working them in the weight room, you know, doing the allotted time that they're able to do. And so they're in good hands even when the, you know, coaches are out and about and doing sure. stuff. So I, I think he'll be a very valuable part of, you know, taking this team physically in the direction they need to go in. Just one last thing as you uh, get ready for a life in Germany now. Uh, how long are you going to be there and uh, what's the next couple of weeks hold for you? Quick turnaround. Uh, August 2nd is when we're flying out. So we got... Gosh, not a week and a half. So we're here, here through the weekend. Head on back, uh, stop in to see a friend on the way home, and then head heading home. Pack up, see the family, getting in the gym obviously every day, um, staying in tip top shape. We report August second, and then it's about a nine month season. So it'll be about a month and a half preseason. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of training, new group. Um, they really kind of cleaned house from the team they had last year, mm -hmm. and so coach wanted us to get in early get to know each other and it's always an exciting time because I mean you're meeting general manager coach teammate here teammate there so it's right. it's a really fast melling and uh meshing and gelling time <laughs> uh to, to you know to build that team so we're excited for that very good well uh Jess appreciate the time good luck to you coming up here this year all right appreciate it we'll be following uh over there in Germany we watch the games online nice that's uh, Jesse Sanders former Flames point guard with us my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network